First of all, you need a lot of physical talent. So you need to be able to ride your bike fast. But I also found out now as a coach, you need to have a really good mentality, wanting to train hard, wanting to hurt yourself. You need to be really driven to reach the top. Even if I lost and you go home and you become kind of depressed because I just like to ride my bike, at some point you get a better feeling and then you make new goals. You prepare for your new goal and then you try to learn your lessons, what you did in the previous races, achieve your goals again for the next race. For me, it was always a lot of fun to train. So I really like to go to the gym, to, to ride on the road, or do the track training. It was never really difficult to try to achieve my goals. It's very difficult to say because both as it's a charms on the road, it's sometimes a little bit easier because you have like 60 race days a year. When you have a disappointment, it doesn't make or break your season. You always have an next race. The pressure is a little bit spread out over the season. And on the track, most of the time, just world championships and Olympics. And if you don't do a good race at the world championships, you can say yeah, your season failed a little bit. So that brings a lot of pressure. But as a sport, also what I saw tonight, I got goosebumps from the Kirin final. It's so magical to see. It's such a beautiful sport. Uh, tactical, uh, speed, uh, power. It's just uh, amazing to see. But yeah, also if I see a bunch sprint on the road, I also get goosebumps. So both sports are just amazing.